So in Minnesota, we have 60% of our fourth graders and 60% of our eighth graders who are reading at grade level. 40% are not, and that, that's a tragedy. Only 60% of students are reading at the fourth grade level. Why is that okay? And why are we just throwing up our hands and nothing can be done? If we're going to have a great state with uh, great companies, we're going to need a great workforce and they're going to need to be well educated. And if we don't have citizens that are prepared with a sound education, then we've already written our future. It was the day that Braden started first grade that we found that he had uh, severe dyslexia. I was like at reading level number four, and everyone else was at like seven. He didn't pick up reading like his classmates did. So I kind of like felt left out and usually everyone would say like, like sit in this corner and I just like sit under a table. We felt strongly that the school system was failing him. Remember at the end of first grade, Braden told me that he thought he was dumb. And for any parent to hear that is crushing. Groves' focus is students with learning disabilities. They have the intelligence to learn, but it's just not unlocked. They're, they're, they're wired differently. And it grew from eight students in 1976 to almost 300 today. First, you need great leaders. Second, you need great teachers that are all going in the same direction. And then third, you need data to know what you're doing well at and what you're not doing well at. But we want to look at objective, hard data and make an informed instructional decisions based on that data. The learning here has been structured, it's been methodical. Since starting Groves, Braden is more confident in himself. His reading is incredible. If you looked at Braden the day he walked in and asked him to read a paragraph, and you had him read a paragraph today, you would be awestruck. We thought, okay, we're doing some great work in the school. How can we bring this out to the community in a much bigger way? The Learning Center at Groves is a place where we're able to take our 45 years of experience of working with students with learning disabilities and bring that to the community at large. This year we'll serve a little over 1,100 students and their families. We're in four North Minneapolis schools now. We take the good literacy instruction that is happening in our school and we replicate it in general ed classrooms. More and more now we're seeing families who come for an initial diagnostic evaluation and then are able to go back to a school where the Groves Literacy Framework is happening. If we didn't find Groves, I, I think we would be in a very, very different place. It's been life-changing. <laughs>